Hi everyone, um, happy Earth Day. Welcome to our series on sustainable choices um, at home. Uh, my name is Heather Davidson. I'm a lead naturalist at the Environmental Nature Center. And today we are in my kitchen and we're gonna be talking about different sustainable choices that you can make at home in your own kitchen. Now, I just wanted to start off by saying I am in an apartment complex. It's just my husband and I, and so, and I'm definitely not an expert at these sorts of things. I like to make sustainable choices that are available to me here in this small apartment complex. So I obviously don't have the option of getting top of the line sustainable appliances, um, refrigerators, washing machines, things like that. I'm kind of have to use what is available to me here at this um, complex. So don't feel disheartened if you don't have the option of, you know, switching out all of your appliances, creating a huge garden um, in your backyard. There's a lot, a lot of little things that you can do at home that are very, very simple, very easy, very cost effective, and it still makes a huge difference um, for the environment. So. The first thing I want to talk about is being mindful, being mindful of the choices that you make every single day and how that might affect you. Raquel talked about this at length inside of her video on Monday. Um, that's a really great video. If you haven't watched it, I just super recommend doing it. Um, and she talks about kind of taking a step back, thinking about where did your food come from? What am I going to do with this food? Am I going to waste it, et cetera, et cetera. So being mindful is really the first step in being sustainable and making sustainable choices. You're aware of what you are doing and the choices that you're making. So we're going to be talking about some sustainable food choices. And um, when you are getting ready to go to the grocery store, the best thing that you can do is make yourself a grocery list. Look at the ads for the weekly paper, or inside of the weekly mail that you get, what's on sale, what can I buy in order to curate a meal or multiple meals um, for myself this week and what am I not going to waste? So picking out ingredients that can be used in multiple recipes throughout the entire week. Maybe you need an onion. Um, you can make that onion last through the whole week. And um, if you don't use your whole onion, still chop it up, put it in the freezer. You're, it's ready for next week. So um, using that freezer is a really big uh, thing that'll help you be sustainable um, with your food choices. A big part of sustainability inside of your kitchen is not wasting food. That is a huge, huge drain on um, your resources, your money, right? Wasting, throwing food away, you're throwing money away. So there are little things that you can do with that onion, for instance, chop it up, put it in the freezer, it's ready to use for your omelet tomorrow. Um, I, for instance, just recently forgot about a cucumber in the back of my fridge and it was just on its very last day. So I chopped it up and made a really quick pickle. And pickling is a really great option that you can use to um, take care of all that leftover food. Pickled onions, pickled carrots, pickled cucumbers. You could pickle asparagus, Brussels sprouts, eggs, anything. So anything that's kind of on its last life Go ahead and give it a quick pickle. Um, the ratio is equal parts water and vinegar. If you like, you're very, very vinegary. Um, and then you can put different spices. This is a hot pickle. Um, so I have a lot of red pepper flakes and garlic in here. So um, a really quick pickle is great. And then also something that I recently learned after you're done with the jar of pickles, this brine is still good to use for at least one more um, use. So if you're done with the pickles and you still have a cucumber, chop them up, put it inside of the leftover brine. There you go, you've got a whole new jar of pickles and you only bought one, which is great. So pickling, um, chopping things up, being prepared is a really good way to not waste food. And when you're thinking um, mindfully about your food choices, a big part of that is to buy local foods. So Raquel talked about 
foods that if you are in um, the East Coast, for instance, you would choose foods that have been shipped all the way from California to the East Coast at certain times of the year, um, et cetera, et cetera. Here in California, we're super lucky because we have a lot of local food, um, a food grown locally here in our Mediterranean climate. Food grows super, super well here. So we have the option of going to farmer's markets and purchasing locally grown fresh produce. And one example of something that I will always, always buy locally is honey. So local honey is really great for you because um, it helps you fight allergies. So uh, if you're ingesting the pollen of your local area, it's sort of like getting um, a flu shot, for instance. So, you know, you're putting that virus inside of your body, your body's fighting it, and now next time it comes around, uh, it's not affecting you. So honey, you're ingesting that pollen that is here in, you know, in California where you grow and or where you live, and um, it'll help with seasonal allergies, actually ingesting the local honey with that local pollen. So, um, and in addition to the many health benefits that local honey has, um, it also helps to support your local economy, support those farmers, those um, <laughs> bee farmers who are raising bees and creating this honey. And then it also helps to support your local wildlife. So supporting those bees that really, really need our help right now. Um, and like I said earlier, I live in an apartment complex, so I don't have the resources to make a huge vegetable garden like I would like. But there's easy little things that you can do, like growing your own herbs. So I am growing mint at the moment. So I can easily go grab this for pasta dishes, um, drinks, put it in the water, desserts, things like that. Growing your own herbs in a little bucket or a little pot is super, super simple. And it's something that I can do on my deck um, without digging inside of the ground. Um, our next part of the sustainability or being sustainable inside your kitchen is to spend a little bit of money when you are purchasing things for your kitchen, kitchen purchasing high quality items um, that you love and that brings you happiness, um, you're going to be using more than a pan that I bought that was $2 and it sometimes works and eggs stick to it and I just hate, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So um, investing in a cast iron skillet will really ultimately um, be more sustainable for your kitchen. So you can choose the, you know, your favorite color, you take care of it, you can use it for everything, literally. You can use cast iron um, over and over and over again. And this is a pan that I'm gonna have for my entire life. So the, the upfront cost is going to be worth it ultimately in the long run because I can have this forever and I don't have to keep purchasing um, low quality pans. Same with um, a Dutch oven. Here I have my Dutch oven on my counter. A Dutch oven can be used for everything, um, soups, stocks. I like to make rice in it and then you can also make bread in it. So Dutch ovens are a really great um, thing for you to purchase as well. And then um, today we're gonna to be talking about some very simple swaps that you can use. So um, I am a huge baker and in the world of baking, there is a lot of waste when it comes to aluminum foil, parchment paper, um, piping bags, cupcake, holders, things like that. So there are a few different sustainable options that you can use. So this is a silicone baking mat that I put on my cooking sheet. Nothing sticks to it. And it's a really great alternative to using parchment paper or aluminum foil is this baking mat. And this baking mat can be used for all sorts of things. In addition to being heat safe, heat resistant, you can put it inside of the oven. Um, it's really great for rolling out doughs, uh, dough, bread doughs and cookie doughs, things like that don't stick to it. And it's really simple to just wipe off. So this silicone baking mat, I highly recommend for swapping out. Um, 
in order to reduce the amount of plastic that you use, uh, Pyrex dishes have been around for forever and for good reason, these glass dishes, you can put your leftovers inside of it, immediately pop into the oven, put it in the microwave, put it in the fridge, the freezer. These glass dishes are really great. They do have plastic lids, which is unfortunate, but it's really nice that you can just put your leftovers together inside of this glass container. And then speaking um, specifically about baking, they do make reusable um, piping bags, which are, it is a pain to wash it out, but um, the reusable piping bags and then reusable cupcake holders are a really great alternative to using those little plastic or paper um, uh, things in baking. So those are some swaps. Another really good swap to use in your kitchen or all around your house. At the Environmental Nature Center, we use Ecos products and these are great for the environment. Um, they're safe for your family. They're safe for pets. So if you were to wipe down the counter, I have a cat who um, the world is his and so he always walks on the counter and I fear that you know, whatever I put on the counter, whatever cleaning product, he gets on his feet and if he takes a bath, then he's ingesting that cleaner. So if I'm using safe products uh, that are eco-friendly, then I can be more satisfied that I'm not poisoning my cat when he walks on the counter, for instance. Um, and then I am not blessed with one of the refrigerators where water comes out of it, which uh, I took for granted when I was at my parents, living at my parents' house. When I moved into this apartment, we were buying large plastic water gallons um, and it was um, making me sad to, to keep throwing that plastic away. So we did invest in a Brita filter to help reduce the amount of plastic that we are um, purchasing and also throwing away, throwing into that landfill. So the Brita filter, you fill it from the sink and um, you have water filtered, which is great. So um, I feel like I'm just going through all these different items. Uh, one of my very favorite items that is a swap for cling wrap is this beeswax wrap. So this is really, really cool. I use it to wrap lemons that I've only used half of, cucumbers. You can wrap your sandwich with it, put it on top of dishes that don't have lids. This beeswax wrap is super, super simple to wipe with hot water and it's really, it's back to normal. It's back clean um, and it dries very, very quickly and they're cute. They have cute little wrapping papers. So finding items that you love and that uh, brings you happiness will ultimately help you be more mindful and sustainable inside of your kitchen. You're not, you're thinking more, am I using a roll of paper towels or am I using one dish rag to clean my whole kitchen? Um, and so little swaps like that really make a huge difference in the amount of trash that you throw away. When um, my husband and I started being more mindful and thinking about the amount of plastic and paper and um, trash that we were throwing away every single day. It is incredible about the amount of trash that just one person creates on a daily basis and just little swaps like using a beeswax wrap or um, when you're at the grocery store using a um, lingerie bag to put um, or a mesh bag to put your uh, fruits and vegetables in from the produce sec or the, yeah, the produce section um, can help reduce the amount of trash that you create drastically. So little teeny swaps like this are really, really great in helping you be more mindful when it comes to your choices that you make, especially here in the kitchen, which generates a lot, a lot of trash. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about any of the products that I showed today, feel free to write it in the comments, any questions. Um, on Friday, Mark is going to be talking about sustainable choices when it comes to being on the go and with your pets. So we're really looking forward to watching that. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, have a happy Earth Day. Bye.